will remain. Okay. So the quick resume facts. How many of you here have a long term goal, like getting a dream job or being a successful entrepreneur or even dreaming of being rich? With the quick resume facts. Great. Thank you. I'm glad to see that most of you here have a goal, which is a purpose in life to propel yourself forward. That's amazing because a lot of researches suggest that people with a predetermined dream are likely to be 10 times more effective and successful in achieving that goal than those who don't even set one. So you're all off to a great start. Talking about goals, first you need to visualize them in a bigger picture, how it would look like when you achieve it. So that's when you get the sense of confidence and motivation to actually achieve it, right? So there are a lot of methods to effectively visualize them and I'm going to talk about a really simple method so that it will be easy for you to actually try out after this session and that is called as the vision board. So it's basically like a collage which has a lot of pictures that represents your goal. So this is an example of my uh, vision board for the year 2023. Vision board gives you uh, clarity on your goals and the time uh, with it. For example, uh, I've talked about my uh, fitness goals, right? To be and uh, to be uh, living a happy and healthy life. Exercise should be a must, obviously, and it should not be just for a couple of months, right? It should be a part and parcel of your life so that you will be able to lead a healthy life for a longer period of time. Thus, it's it's a long term goal. But when you talk about being in the top 10 students uh, when I finished the undergraduate program, it is definitely a short term goal and I have just hardly 2 or 3 months left. So this gives you a sense of clarity on what are your goals and what is the time associated with it. So you will get the clarity and you can plan accordingly so that you can achieve all the goals in a better fashion. So moving forward, as I told you earlier about vision board, the only one thing which the vision board lacks is giving you the clarity on the path you should take and what are the steps or the method you should follow in order to achieve that goal. Vision board is just a source of motivation I would say. So to give uh, more clarity on that, I have coined something called the SCAT approach. As you can see here, it stands for skill sets, constraints, action plan and timeline. This is a tried and tested method because I was able to for, uh, use this uh, SCAT uh, approach and I was actually able to foresee myself from being one of the Bill average students in school and a 17 year old uh, kid with a lot of medical issues all the way to becoming an NASA recognized citizen scientist discovering asteroids. So these are the asteroids that uh, I discovered. And I also uh, was given an opportunity to be a delegate at the most prestigious and biggest uh, space conference where I also presented my uh, dream research work on controlling the combustion of solid rocket propellants, which was actually thought to be impossible for more than 40 years. And uh, when I presented the research with my team, all the eminent personalities in the space sector was completely shocked. And uh, we also got a lot of recognition and appreciation, like you see here. He he's the uh, chairman of ISRO himself. So, but during school time, I was not really good at science. I was not really good at uh, scoring, especially in science. Even though I knew that science was my domain, my arena, but still I was not able to get that trick of scoring marks and being a good student. And SCAP approach helped me a lot in understanding the basics of the skills I would require to move forward and get all the uh, education I, I would require to do something like this. And you can see where I'm standing right now, a 20 year old standing at TEDx. So this is how you can improve and anyone can do it. So I just want to you know, dig in more into the SCAT approach and we'll see how this uh, approach will help you on getting your goals. First one is skill sets. <coughs> so it's basically analyzing what are the skills uh, you have or you possess and what are the skills you would require in order to execute that project of yours or that goal of yours. So, it can be as simple as training down the uh, skill sets and your strengths and after that you get a clear idea of what are the skills you would require. So you will go searching for the uh, a credible source to acquire the same. So we all know about this current industries uh, revolution, revolution, right? Like the uh, industry 4.0 and 5.0 models. So they are incorporating a lot of new technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning and all those new stuff. So for a mechanical engineer, 
like myself to uh, grow and sustain in that particular industry, they have to undergo something which is like commonly known as faculty development program. So it's basically to equip themselves with the updating technology so that they'll be actually able to sustain for a longer period of time. So that's basically uh, analyzing where you stand in, in the level of skill sets and how you're going to improve the same. Second is constraints. Each and everybody here has their own boundaries, constraints, problems, and sources of problems. How would you analyze it? How would you like you know know about it better? In simple terms, look around yourself. Look around the goal. I mean, what will be the potential problems that you might face, and what are the causes of them? So the best example I can think of is uh, talking about the company SpaceX, and, and and I'm sure that everybody will be aware of that. So they are known for uh, launching payloads or satellites into orbit, and they get the rocket back safely land on Earth. So 80% of the rocket is back on Earth safe, and they uh, save a lot of money. It's a very good new technology. But during the early stages of SpaceX, they really struggled to land that rocket back, because it was obviously a new technology that no one tried, and they didn't know what are the failures they could expect. So to be successful, SpaceX hired an entire fleet of engineers and uh, uh, scientists to come together just to analyze the problems and predict the problems they might face in their upcoming missions. And they grouped it according to any kind of similarities or the root cause. So when you group them, you get a bigger picture of what all the uh, problems you might face, right? After that, it will be as simple as eliminating them one by one with respect to the common source. Now, you cannot see a SpaceX rocket failing to land. They may even fail to put a payload on space, but they've never failed to land it. So that's how you basically master and make sure that you are equipped enough to tackle all the, all the problems. So going to the third step, and I, say, I would say that this is the most important uh, step with this uh, approach, which is action plan. Action plan is basically uh, constructing a plan of action or a, a sequence of work you have to do in order to achieve that uh, goal of yours. So only when the plan is like effective, you can follow it for a longer period of time, and only when you follow it for a longer period of time, you will be able to achieve your goal. So effective uh, plan is really important. And for getting an effective plan, you have to consider the constraints uh, which we already have uh, discussed in the previous step. So basically, you analyze the constraints first, then you go for uh, getting a plan of action. Because when you consider the constraints while drafting that plan, you can stick to it for a longer period of time. We all have that friend, right, who starts the year saying that he will become a new version of himself and have a amazing fitness goals. And after three to four months later, you will uh, see that he's not showing any traces of following that goal. Why is that? There can be a lot of reasons, uh, like laziness and stuff, but the most common reason that, that anyone can find out is ineffective planning not considering your problems and your priority list. Say you are a 9 to 5 uh, a job, you are in a 9 to 5 job, and uh, say you want to go to gym. When the gym timings and uh, the job is clashing, you are obviously going to quit the gym or leave the gym class and go towards your work, right? Because you are a priority. And once you start skipping that particular plan, it becomes a habit, and at the end of the day, you are going to lose it, and that goal will never going to happen. So an effective plan is really important if you want to achieve that goal. And with that, we come to the final step of this approach, which is timeline. So for any goal to be achieved, there will be a sub goals or sub steps you should you know, tick on, which we actually call it as milestones. So when you complete all the milestones, you will see yourself uh, landing at your goal. So for each and every milestone, you have your own deadlines. Right? And the cumulative time you take from step zero to the goal will be the entire time. And this has to be realistic. This has to be doable. Say you want to be the world's richest person. That is not an ambitious dream. That is not an impossible dream. But if you allocate just three months for that particular dream, it is impossible. Unless you plan on robbing a bank or going for a lottery. right? So having a realistic timeline is really useful because when you know that you will be able to make it on time, it also gives you a sense of confidence 
so that you will be able to definitely pull it off on time. Yes, with this we complete the scatter approach and this is how I use uh, uh, these steps to uh, get into my goal. But if you ask me whether these steps are enough to achieve the goal, definitely not. Because this will make sure you have everything to start your journey towards the goal, that's it. It's like a taxi dropping you on an airport, over. After that, it all comes down to just one thing, which is your mindset. How badly you want that goal, how badly you want that opportunity, how badly you want that success, uh, like, it's the, it's everything, right? So, for I personally believe that you know self-belief is really uh, important. It's a very important characteristic you should have in order to achieve a goal. It's a pinnacle to success. And all those top performance people, all those high performance people, have a high self-esteem because they completely believe in themselves. And for them, decision making is really simple. Because regardless of the decision they make, or regardless of the outcome of the decision, they know that they can come through it. They know that they can find a way forward to it with flying colors. That gives a lot of confidence and uh, generates positivity. Altogether, this is a powerful mindset. This is a transformative mindset. And with this kind of a mindset, you can give life to words. You can transform from average to astounding, confused to charismatic, pain to power and perseverance. And most importantly, you can transform from failure to fabulous. Anyone, literally anyone can do it. It actually doesn't depend on your past or your present. It, it just depends on what you want your future to be. So, I just want you to, I just want to complete with just one code word I want to share. In set. I want you to remember this code word because this summarizes almost everything that we have discussed so far. Introspect and set goals. Introspect is basically looking into yourself, analyzing yourself and accepting yourself. This is the most important thing. You have to accept the fact that you have whatever it takes to become the good or the greatest of all time. I am not telling you to believe in something which is not real or imagine something is not real. I am telling you to accept the fact, accept the reality that you have greatness within yourself. And when you accept it, you just have to tap into it and setting goals and achieving after that is not going to be an issue. And after introspecting, the next is going to be uh, setting goals. As we have clearly talked about the scattered approach and the mindset you should have in order to achieve the goals, it is going to be really simple after that. So, I promise you that when you remember and follow in set, the world will remember and follow you for achieving your goals. And I completely believe in this. So thank you so much for your wonderful opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much.